The word unknown is a phenomenon itself. What is unknown? Well, for centuries the world has been baffled and confused by the word unknown. And in this series, me and my team will attempt to uh, uncover and disrupt the paranormal world. Now, I'm Tyler Marskell, and this is Moderately Haunted. This episode is a it's a historic landmark, but uh, unfortunately, it is shrouded in a lot of mystery and misunderstanding. This location is Eastley Bandstand. Built sometime long ago in a year, I cannot be bothered to find out. Eastley Bandstand lies in the heart of the town's community. It is also the site to many local stories of apparent paranormal activity. Well, it, it, it must have been a Sunday night. I was walking back home from work uh, and I went past the bandstand as I do on lots of occasions and I heard people shouting, but there was nobody there. Uh, and you could see shadows, but the, you just couldn't make anything out. And then something was thrown at me. I have no idea what it was because being the chicken I am, I ran. Uh, but lots of people have told me that they've had the same opinions as I had. I swear when I looked over there, there was something like there was dark shadows moving at like late at night. I didn't really see what they were doing. They were just sat, not doing a lot, but yeah, it's, I, th I think, yeah, it definitely looked like a ghost. Definitely looked like a ghost. Yeah, you have to see it to believe it. Yeah, and I've seen it. Mary Bishop who lives only a couple of streets from the fascinating site, told me and the police that on some cold, dark summer's evening, she saw an orchestra playing. To her horror, it was full of skeleton players. Therefore, I conclude and I verify this site is moderately haunted. And so, with a variety of eyewitness accounts and the verification of our parapsychologists, we set off to pursue the investigation ourselves. Eastley Bandstand, ready to search for any paranormal entities that may lurk in the bandstand. Me and my team are here in the late hours of Tuesday evening, waiting for it to get a little bit darker before we start the investigation. And over here we have uh, one of my team working around the clock to ensure safety for everyone. Here she is. How are you? Uh, well, you're here to to make sure that none of the the spectres and entities damage me and you and James. Okay. Is this really necessary? Yes, we're here to do a job. Now carry on as you were. Thank you. Um, can someone please tell me why I'm here? I, I literally have no idea. I've been blackmailed into this. So yeah, I've been roped into doing another series with Tyler. Um, wasn't my choice. It's just something he claims that he wants to explore another another career path. Um, no, I don't believe in ghosts. Um, and no, I don't think we'll find anything. I think this is a load of shit. And James, it's time to begin searching the bandstand. The light had gone out and our torches went on. The investigation had begun. That was a 
a sudden change in temperature. It's very cold as we enter the bandstand. Well, we are outside, Tyler. Shh, no, don't be so silly. Did you not feel it? Mm. As you cross the threshold from the normal world into the paranormal world of the bandstand. Hold on. Yeah, I did. That was you closing the gate. No! They're talking to me! Despite the views of my sceptical team, I knew that the gate had closed by itself. Please, if you're with us, tap out your name. The letters of the first name were J, I, and M. Let me sit down. There's something here. It might take me a moment to contact him. As you can see, my body was completely taken over by the spirit of Jim and guided towards the nearby park. When I arrived, Jim's spirit left me, but not without leaving some information behind. Jim told me that him and his friend Frederick used to play in the bandstand. And then they came over to the park. Well, maybe you could do something useful, like ask them, um, ask them why they've been given the locals havoc. You know, that's that's why we're why we're here, isn't it? Jim? Jim, I know you're there. Yes, yes, Jim, calm down. Calm. <gasps> oh. I was pushed off the seesaw with tremendous force and purpose, understanding that this was a sign to leave. We concluded the investigation. What I found out was there was a young boy named Jim who used to live somewhere close, I can only imagine. And he would visit the bandstand on a regular basis. And then the locals said that I wasn't allowed, so he would go to the park. And he only had one friend. And then his friend disappeared. And no one would ever play with him. And now, what I can only assume is this is Jim playing with the locals, trying to have a little bit of fun. But when I got pushed off of that, that seesaw, there was definite malice. So I can only come to the conclusion that the surrounding area is definitely haunted. any location that is haunted or do you feel that there is an entity in your own house well 
If you do, contact one of us and we'll come and investigate in an episode all about your location. <laughs>